Hello dear friends, this video is made particularly for one friend and to explain one particular brush. This is the Pure Wolf small hair brush, small size Pure Wolf hair brush. So we can take a look at it and let me see if we are in the right zoom. Yes, I think we are in the right zoom. So when you open it up, it looks like it, and it's one of the least expensive. I I listed on my website quite a, a good price. So this is not the best quality brush, but uh, it's functional and uh, everything exists for a particular reason. This is one of the reason that uh, this brush exists. It has its merits, it has its own, own ability and, uh, and uh, particular characteristic that uh, make it just so unique. And if you see all these brushes of a different size, of different uh, quality, of different lengths, width, each is for a particular reason. So this video we will only talk about this one. Okay. So I will change the camera. I will uh, make another clip and do a demo. So here is the brush without opening up. It is like it. It's sharp, pendu. It's a sharp. And, uh, and very tight and when you open it up for this kind of brush because I, I visited the owner or the producer of this brush so I know you can just bend it without soaking it long time in water I think they are using some uh, uh, very easy to use glue and now the technology and the products have made brush making so much easier before they use animal glue as far as I know so it's really difficult to open up you have to soak into water for a long time but this one you do not need to you can just bend it not bang uh, with very strong force slowly press it and bend it it can can be good let me show you how to open it up. It's already open, so you press it, press it, and then you will s feel the the hair is uh, is loosen up, and then bend it a little bit. Okay. Luckily today I am doing some watercolor, very unsuccessful watercolor. And, um, I'm quite. Uh, disappointed with what I have done with watercolor so anyway it's unrelated matter so <clears throat> how do we use the brush first the way to hold the brush Let me, mm -hmm, mm, zoom out. okay so these two fingers to hold it and this finger is to pull, this one is to push, and always straight. You cannot see it very well when I do it straight because of the camera, the tripod. And this brush is relatively small and, um, and uh, it is quite uh, easy to control. There is uh, not uh, a lot of hair, there, there not too much hair and not too long and uh, relatively easy to control. I imagine even if you make mistake, there is just a, this small quantity of hair, small amount of ink, so how much mistake can you make? How big the mistake can you make, right? Does it make sense? Even if you make some mistake, it cannot be a really large mistake. And this brush is not so good for applying colors. Maybe some small area applying color. But otherwise, it's, a, it's relatively a good outline brush. And I have some watercolor color, so let's see how it works. 
and every time when you start the brush soak the brush totally into the water and then use the edge of your container may it be um, a plastic container or, or foam board container whatever and the glass whichever is good and if it is if you are using cans make sure the cans edge is not too sharp to scrape out the hair right so we'll do some writing here and we can have a, a feel of the brush and you see it is really a very sharp edge so such a good brush why it is less expensive i think it's be expensive because uh, it's a shorter hair and this kind of shorter hair seems easy to get and uh, and it uses less hair so it's easier to make when you have long hair it's uh, it's it need to be uh, quite uh, more difficult to find the hair to find the lens anyway this is relatively easy to find and um, it is not very soft comparing with other uh, wolf hair this is relatively soft i mean the soft in the sense that it is quite uh, uh, easy to to manipulate to maneuver i like it actually i like it very much and um, so you can see it can apply a lot of ink and keep you using 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 not so not so efficient for applying a large area of uh, of uh, color and water for example if you want to do a mo mountain this might not be so so effective right but if you do um, an outline or a little I have too much water see at this time when I get too much water it goes away and it spreads a little bit too much make sure you do not get too much water when you have to have too much water use the edge to scrape out the excess water and until you get a very 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 sharp and uh, slender edge then you can start to, to do so so it's very effective to do some small size. This one, this brush will be pretty good for doing um, for doing a, a card, greeting card that size. right so it seems quite easy and uh, <clears throat> the hair of this lens is relatively easy to control if you have such a long hair i think i remember i have uh, said one time the long hair is like um, it's like high heel shoes woman like women like high heel shoes because it's pretty but it's not so comfortable oftentimes and um, and you need very good skill you, you need to train yourself for Oscar um, a red carpet walking for a long time before you can get control of it so you see this hair because it's long hair and it's uh, it's very difficult to ma manipulate and the edge does not seem so sharp but it is actually very very sharp so when you are a seasoned painter 
and you really know in and out every side of painting. You can buy this kind of large brush, long hair brush, and uh, otherwise do not uh, do not start with too expensive brush. And uh, <clears throat> this brush is less expensive here. One, this one is less expensive. Is one of the least expensive. It is a student. As if I say, is kind of student level. This is uh, not the sense same as uh, as what we say in Western world student level. It's not like the 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 painting color uh, pastel or or any art supply. When student level, it means they have less. Uh, expensive material, inferior material, and uh, with more bonding. But this one, I I think, what I am trying to say is that this brush is more, um, it's more um, easy to to control and more adaptable to the insensitive student hand. So if a person, a student, not have enough experience, they can still use it because this itself has a very strong character. And, uh, and also, a lot of time, young students, young children, they do not have very strong control of their hands. They do not have, have not yet developed the feeling of the hand. So use this kind of use uh, this kind of um, forgiving, uh, forgiving and uh, tolerate brush is very, it's, uh, it becomes very very important. So this is the brush, a good choice, way to go, and um, another thing about my brush. They can be expensive, they can be cheap, but they are all good quality, I feel, because I use them, and, um, and it's not for, it's not that uh, something I buy and, uh, and uh, not know about them. I went to the shop, I try each of them, because I use them, and... Uh, use it for a particular purpose. And this one I use for making my business, not business card, my greeting cards. You can see this kind of greeting cards. Sometimes I do a little painting instead of this already made uh, uh, silk painting. Gosh, I did this one. Can you imagine? I was doing pretty good at that time, right? <laughs> So this one is just perfect for making a
sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot that this is an informative video. I am supposed to not wasting your time, but uh, just having fun here. To sing a song, sing, sing a song. So this is this brush, and, uh, a good choice. I love it. I love it. Just love it. Love it. Hope you enjoy it. Bye bye, friends. See you later, alligator. I'm going to pick up my kiss.